Hello viewers, welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at the RTX 360 Ti LHR and what you can get out of it if you try to do normal mining on Ethereum. So over here you can see the box, the front and the back looks exactly the same as the normal one. You can see the top of the box also looks exactly the same as the normal box. Now you might wonder if this 3060Ti LHR card is good for mining. Well, I guess that's on your perception of what is good and what isn't. And here you can see the bottom of the box. On the one side it all looks exactly the same. And then when you get to the other side of the box, over there you can see it is LHR. So if you wanted to know if your card is LHR when you're going to buy it, Look at the bottom of the box to see if there is a LHR indication over there. Now in my 3060 Ti LHR review, I thought it would be a good idea just to double check what the 3060 Ti LHR hash rate would be. And if this 3060 Ti LHR is a good model for using to mine or not on Ethereum. So over here you can see I had it plugged into a um, motherboard. And it was hashing away and I did a couple of benchmarks on it to see what the best would be that I could get out of this card. Now over here you can see the final overclock settings that I had on the card. The memory clock was at 1500, the core clock was at negative 502, my fan speed was on auto, the power limit was on 41. Which was quite interesting that this power limit on the card can go that low. Now those settings on T-Rex Miner with Ethermine Pool resulted in a mega hash of 34.15 at a wattage of 99 and temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. So it is uh, overpowered 1660 Super with slightly higher wattages than you would get with the 1660 Super if you want to compare it that way. However, as soon as we come to the end of Ethereum and it goes to proof of stake, then this card's popularity might be back up there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below and remember to subscribe for future updates. Thank you very much. Cheers.